La 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 la. I don't care what you say. La la la. Hi. Hello. Oh, what an assault! Talk to them what your business is. My business is I'm video recording. Okay. Well, I'm doing a story. Look, there's my eye. Oh, sorry, that's my IQ, which is bigger than yours. Uh, there's my D. <laughs> You're in the street right now. No, I'm not. What is this? You're it's in the part of the street. Right what is this? What, what are these about? lines for? They should have taken me to jail right now. Either way, guys, they violated my constitutional rights. It's not. It's called a public easement. Come on, sir. Come on, come on, come on. You're like an old man. And I'm an old man. Sir, that's not nice of you, sir. That's not nice of you. Good baby this time. Fuck you up. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say it again, bro. Say it again. What? Are you serious right now? Just tell me what to do, what I'm supposed to do about all this, because I have no fucking clue. Like, I'm out here just winging it. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Shame on you guys. The issue is or why you're freaking out or causing this whole disturbance right now but please de-escalate and calm down it's closing time and we would all like to leave thank you do you think that me wanting to know where to find you has anything to do with youtube you're sadly mistaken your name is going on the lawsuit <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 what's going on? Welcome back, guys. I'm laughing because we have a fantastic throwback video. In this video, we're going to look at Taco Boy. <laughs> Taco Boy Terry. Oh, my God. You know, it's funny. When I first started watching videos of the Freuders, he easily was my most hated. And now he's my most favorite to watch because he gets every action of his has consequences. Like, dude literally has been told he has to get a job because he's a loser. Oh, man. We're going to watch this throwback video of him being trespassed from the police station and eventually arrested for call flooding. Gee, what a throwback, guys. This is a treat. So you know what? Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. 874, no. Oh, my bad. I called the wrong number, boss. I'm sorry. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, hello. Can I get some help out here? What's up? Oh, boss, what's going on? So the other day, I got the uh, vehicle release form from you. Yeah. Um, you guys did not tell me that you took the tags off my car. So I felt real stupid when I got over there and paid for it. And then the guy was like, all right, cool. So you got the tags and everything for it? And then I was like, no, I don't. Because hmm. somebody obviously took them off of there. Well, By somebody, I mean... Huh? Do you know why the tags were taken off? No, I don't. I don't even know why my car was taken in the first off? place, sir. I don't even know why this gentleman came on a private property and stole my vehicle in the first okay, we're place. Not gonna get told. We're going to talk about your tag right now. Where yeah, we, no, we are. Absolutely. The okay. tags were on the vehicle that he came on a private property and stole. Part of why I hated him so much when I first started watching these videos was his smug and arrogance. It's absolutely disgusting. But don't worry. He pays for it at the end. I promise. Can you at least own up to what right you had to run my tax in the first place, sir? Or why you said that it was on district court property when it was not on district court property? I didn't say it was on district court property. Well, that's the paperwork says. No, you better check it. Nothing on that says it's on district court property. You were on the district court property. No, it says car was on district court. I want the letters at home. I'll make sure I bring it. Oh, oh, can I get a copy of that? I, I don't actually. This is a yeah, vehicle release. Copy, like I, to yesterday. I know. Yeah, okay. I gotta go online. Yep, okay. I'm doing that. All right, good, good. I got you. Yep, I got this. Easy way to do it without yep. anybody getting involved to give you any issues. Yeah, that's the proper way of doing it. Yeah. Now, as far as why the tax for checking, I have no clue. Tax had to pick up more than oh. like his insurance, was, his insurance oh. policy was from 2020. You picked up the tax in 2021, so that was the reason why the tax was taken. And once the NVA put that pickup order on your car, once any police officer, any well, district I, I, company, I, I, I had been pulled over in 2021, so yeah. if there was a pickup order, then they must have missed it somehow. But it, it, either it, way, it, either way, I have I had valid insurance it, on my car it, when a, he picked it up. So. I understand it, but a pickup order and insurance are two different things. Uh huh. Now, it's a possible chance they may have missed it. 
But if NBA or MSP, because they both have to deal with all Maryland State Police is yeah, the one that pulled if, me over. Yeah, if yep. they put a pickup on it, mm -hmm. I don't care what agency you work for, they have to be taken. Yep, they MSP, the MSP is the one that pulled me over. They okay. pulled me over in, let's say, August. Let's say August. Let's say August. Let me Sir, you tried to explain to me that I needed to be a thousand feet from a courthouse and you could trespass me even though I hadn't committed a crime. Title 18, Section 242 says I can't be trespassed. <laughs> Listen, he immediately gets triggered once the other officer starts speaking to him. And based on the fact that he will be trespassed in a couple of moments, tells me he's had a pretty heavy presence around that police station or possibly even was trespassed before from another police station or had a confrontation with that one officer that he's clearly agitated by. You know how quickly he's starting to talk now, how he's starting quickly to say, Title 18, Section 242 says I cannot... <laughs> <laughs> this guy is great. Unless I committed a crime. I just don't need him to tell me anything, sir. He's already violated my rights enough. I don't need him to tell me anything. We've dealt with all your business, sir. Any further business you need to take care of, do it by email. You want a copy of a police report or anything else, do it by email. As of right now, I am giving you the option to leave. You're being trespassed. If you come back... Well, hold on. You just said you're giving me the option. You're giving me the option to leave, sir. I'm just thinking logically about that choice of wording you giving me the option to leave what that means terry is they are not immediately throwing you out of the building and immediately trespassing you or immediately putting you in handcuffs they're saying that you have the option to leave freely by your own accord or you will be arrested for trespass and the forwarders say this all the time they say oh well, you can't you're not asking me to leave you're saying i have the option to leave you're asking me they're asking you to give you the opportunity to leave on your own free will before they have to go to the extreme of trespassing you or putting you under arrest. That's what that means. And anyone who thinks logically about that will understand that. But, oh, wait, the Freuders aren't logical in the way that they think. I forgot. You can even leave. So, so you're asking. For for, so what crime am I committing right now by I'm being here? I'm telling you now to leave. You're state being trespassed. This is state property. So if okay. you don't leave, you're going to be arrested. But it's still public, sir. It's still open. No, sir, first off, I'm first. First off, I'm putting my stuff in my thing so okay. I can leave. So stop threatening to arrest me and put no, your handcuffs I'm away. Laughing. Put your goddamn handcuffs sir, away and do not act like that. Five, first off, there's not, seven, sir. Seven, I'm, I, there's not a, a time limit on me putting my paperwork in my thing, sir. I'm putting my paperwork. Away, sir if you want to arrest me and get another uh lawsuit filed on you like i just filed at the county attorney's office you go ahead and be my guest chat with but do not ever threaten to arrest me for being on public property this this is open to the public sir i sincerely apologize to you all because i think i post this very same wording in every video but it's prevalent because of the fact that this is what the forwarders do not understand He's saying this is public property. He can't be trespassed from public. I don't understand why that argument exists, especially because the, when they make that argument, they're usually in a limited public forum. Not a traditional public forum, a limited public forum, meaning a forum where the government or whoever is the agent or the or, or, or is the owner of the establishment who has deputized agents to enforce rules and policies of the forum. And therefore, if you're engaging in conduct that's not befitting of the forum, you can be trespassed. So no, Taco Boy, you're not in a public place or on public property. You're on a limited public forum. Last time. Can I see your supervisor? Can you call I your supervisor? supervisor? No, you obviously have a captain. Please call your supervisor down here, sir. I'm willfully walking out because I don't want you to arrest me, but I want you to get your supervisor down here, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. You didn't say this is state property? Yeah, it's state property and it's open to the public. <laughs> he was really hurt at the end. You could tell by the way he was talking when the, that clip ended. Let's skip ahead to when he starts talking to himself and goes on an epic walk of shame as he waddles around and starts making harassing phone calls. Sam, you're being trespassed. For, okay, uh, un, under, uh, for what crime, sir? Title 18, Section 242 says I have to commit a crime. No, I have to commit a crime. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime to trespass me, sir. Yes, I did have business. I'm asking to speak to your supervisor, sir. I'm asking you to speak to your supervisor, sir. You, there's somebody's obviously above you, sir. Sir, you're, can, you, can you educate him, sir? Can you please explain to him? I'm his supervisor, so he can't explain to Do you not know? Like, do you guys not know the law? I'm just confused here. Once you've been told that you're trespassed, if you do not leave, you will be arrested. 
Have a nice day, sir. Forgive the edit, guys. I'm just going to cut out where he says some pretty homophobic stuff here. But anyway, he'll start talking in a second. Cocker v. California, 1971, if you think my language is offensive, sir. You're going to get yourself in real big trouble, buddy, I'm telling you. You're going to get yourself in real trouble, buddy. You can't say, oh, this is state property. Yeah. It's state property, and that lobby's open to the public, you dumb. You gonna try to tell me this sidewalk out here is state property now, too, buddy? You, you gonna try to tell me this is state property now, too? Oh, is this somehow state property out here now on this sidewalk? I do apologize again, guys, because he just keeps on with the homophobic slurs. And I know haters to the channel don't like that I cut that out, and they say I'm sensitive to that. Well, no, I don't want to hear that, so I don't want to subject any of you to that. But anyway, he wraps it up in a second, and we'll continue on with the regular video. Title 18, Section 242 says, I cannot be trespassed on public property without committing a crime, sir. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? You just unlawfully removed me with threat of trespass, but you can't reasonably articulate that I committed any crime. Now he's going to walk away. Don't think I won't be back tomorrow morning, you dumb. You ball. You might want to check the GIS survey, buddy. I mean, Yeah, hey, how you doing? Um, I, I got an incident going on over here at the DGS Capitol Police Building where I'm being threatened to be arrested for uh, being on public property. Can you guys come down here and explain to them that this is public property and I have the right to be on public property? Okay, what property are you on? Well, uh, according to him, it's state property, but either way, it's still public and it's open to the public. But yeah, I'm down okay, here at 29 St. John's Drive. Okay, you're on St. John's College? No, I'm on here at 29 St. John's Drive, right off of Calvert okay, Street. Uh, some dumbass uh, lieutenant who doesn't apparently know the law and doesn't want me in the public lobby okay, of this well, police if department. You're on state property that is not handled by the city of Annapolis. Okay, but it's it still handled by DGS police, so you need to deal with their department. Okay. We don't handle their property. Okay, well I'm just not trying to be arrested, but I have legal business that I need to go do in this okay, building and I'm not you need to speak with their department. Okay. Alright, well I'll make sure I call one of these Alright. Have a nice night. I'll try well, it looks like Taco Boy didn't get what he wanted there. <laughs> now, let's watch him call a second officer and have the same result. Who is this? Um, I'm actually going to need a lieutenant because Lieutenant Chadwick is the one who's infringing upon my rights right now. So that's. There's nobody else who's a lieutenant there at all? There's. All right, well, you want to come out here and have a conversation with me like a normal person? Uh, have a civilized conversation? I'm out, here on, I'm out here on public property. What do you want to have a conversation about, sir? Well, I don't want to sit here and stand on the phone, but I'd like to have a conversation about the fact that I was just threatened to be arrested on public property. I was just threatened. Yeah, yeah, you have a shift to run, and I'm a private citizen asking for some help. Okay, again, 
Well, sir, I would love to come into that public lobby and have the conversation with you, but unfortunately I can't because I was just threatened to be a I was threatened to be arrested on public property, sir. That is public property. Just because it's state property, that lobby that lobby is open to the public. That lobby is oh, sir, why are you hanging up on me? <laughs> the officer hung up on him. I'm starting to get a theme that's going to be recurred throughout the rest of this video. Watch him call that same officer back again and have similar results. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, no, there's no... Yeah, no, I, I, I want to file my complaint the same way every other private citizen does in the public lobby of this police department. You don't have the right to trespass me from public property unless I committed a crime. Again, I, I have I have the form out here that's already filled out to turn in. Captain Labs and Lieutenant Donaldson already gave me the form. So again, I have legal business in that public lobby of this police department. I've already been given permission from both of them to film. Yeah, they, they, yeah they're going to say they're not available, but you need to call them because this is going to be a huge issue. And I'm not getting arrested for being in the public lobby. You guys going to get another fall, a lawsuit filed, sir. And I'm not trying to do all of this. I'm just trying to do the same thing that every other private citizen can. Who is this? Yeah, can you come out here and explain to me how it is you can trespass me from public property in that public lobby when I give him permission to film in there? I also have legal business, sir, so you can't just sit here and tell me. Hey, sir, that's fine. You can record all you want, sir. That's fine. I'm also recording on my camera out here. Sir, I do have legal business in there, sir. Sir. Sir, I have a complaint form. Sir, I have a complaint form that was given to me by Captain Labs and Lieutenant Donaldson that I have to turn in. So yeah, I do have legal business here, sir. Second off, I don't have. Yeah, I have it right here in my folder, and I was trying to tell you that, but you sat there and acted with your cuffs out. Yeah, no, that's not how it works, sir. I get to come into that public lobby like every other private citizen does. Just because you don't want me there or you don't like me doesn't mean you get to deny me the right to public services, sir. You can't sit here and tell me, sir, it's not your job to decide if I have legal business, sir. That's a public lobby. That's a public lobby. Do you, do you have, can you explain, sir, can you? No, I'm not, sir. No, I'm not. You're a public servant, sir. You're a public servant, sir. No, I'm not disrupting anything, sir. I'm trying to get help. I'm trying to get the same help that every other private citizen can, and you're denying me of that, sir. No, you're not. No, you're not. I have complaint forms to turn in, and you are sitting here denying me access to the public lobby, sir. You can't just sit here and threaten to bring charges upon me. Sir, if you want to bring charges for me calling and asking for public services, then you do what you got to do. But I'll keep calling down there, okay? Oh, Taco Terry, my boy. I don't think you're I don't think you're really getting far with these phone calls. And again, he calls again just to annoy and harass the police. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Hi, yeah, can I have an officer over here to 29 St. John's Drive to uh, dispute, um, I guess, a, 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 or handle a property dispute on what is public property and what's considered not? St. John's, St. John's, right down here, right down here in downtown, like right off of Calvert Street. But yeah, I was told that I'm not allowed on the police department property, which is fine. But when I go on public property, I don't want them coming out here and harassing me. So there seems to be some dispute about. Okay. Well, why, why has someone on the other line get precedent over me? Uh, the police department. I'm trying to walk on a public sidewalk out here, and I'm being denied access to this public sidewalk. That's city property. The, the property that the, the property n n no no I'm not I'm arguing with the DGS Capitol Police is my issue but I'm on city property and there seems to be some sort of uh, 
like discrepancies about that or there seems to be some sort of uneducation about what is city property and what's not so can you send someone out here to confirm that this is city property i'm sorry my name is good citizen you call me john uh gray vans blue jeans and a orange and lime green polo jacket i'm holding a gopro standing out here on the street with an accordion file folder i'm wearing glasses and a backwards hat chewing bubble gum bye bye Hi, can I have the voicemail on Captain Labs, please? I I can't get the voicemail of Captain Labs. I I can't be transferred to the voicemail. Captain Labs is not here. Her voicemail is full. Oh. Okay. So how is someone supposed to leave a message for a public servant? Captain Labs, I'm, I'm going to tell you one more. One no, more I heard you. You said she's Captain not Labs there, and her voicemail is full. Is full. So I'm asking you, so I'm asking you, how is it that I'm supposed to leave a message, ma'am? Like, like me? So how is it that I leave a message for her then, ma'am? Okay, well you have to be able to leave them a message somehow, whether it's written, whether it's written or... I can write it down for you. Wait, okay, you that's fine. That's all you had to say, ma'am. Why are you being rude to me? I'm not, I'm not being rude to you, ma'am. I didn't call up here and be rude to you. I wasn't rude to anybody. I just asked you to pass a message along for me. Like, I don't understand what the issue here is. You know what, Taco Boy? I think you just confirmed to everyone that you are just a big baby. I mean, listen to you whining to this female officer on the phone. Why are you being rude to me? Why are you being mean to me? Goodness, these people that are that self-aware are the ones that are most concerning. Anyway, let's skip ahead to what you guys were actually looking for, which is the satisfying arrest. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, sir, don't touch me. Why are you touching me, sir? Why are you touching me? For what? Why am I being arrested, sir? Sir, can you tell me why am I being arrested out here on public property? Get the fuck off of me, yo! No, get off of me. I want public property out here. Get off of me. Yo, I'm being arrested on public property. I'm going to the fucking police, dude. Get the fuck off of me, yo. Yo, get the fuck off of me. What did I do wrong? What crime have I fucking committed, sir? Ready? Please Get tell on me. Ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm on the, I'm on the ground. Get off of me. What crime did I commit? <laughs> This is definitely one of my favorite videos. This is the example of FAFO, if you know what I mean. Boy, Taco Boy, I wish we could have seen you in cups. I bet you looked really, really nice in them silver shiners. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for your support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this throwback video. There's plenty more to come. So, hey, see you guys next time.